Before Peter Jackson sat in the director's seat once again for The Hobbit, Guillermo del Toro was in it. So what changed? How did it affect the trilogy? And what did his version look like? When production of the Lord of the Rings trilogy started, there had already been three and a half years of pre-production, which means that there was a lot of time to prep. They had gone through several versions of the draft of their screenplays, and each time it became more and more like the books, like what Tolkien wrote. And because of this, these films turned out to be arguably the best films in cinema history. So when they finally got around to The Hobbit in 2008, Jackson wanted to take more of a backseat approach and just be the producer rather than be the director. And the reason it took so long to finally bring The Hobbit onto the big screen is because the rights to the film, or films, didn't expire until 2010. So for that year and a half, Guillermo was the director, and he had some pretty interesting ideas to say the least. Obviously however, there is only so much we know about them because of a non-disclosure agreement. So what we have are some of his ideas, his concept art, and designs. From these we see that we would have had a much darker and intense set of films, but at the same time he wanted it to be more like a fairy tale. So if we look at Smaug's design, we can tell that he was originally a different type of dragon, and he wanted to have his mouth move more like a human's would. Now, I don't know what he means by that exactly and how that would look, but it sounds pretty intriguing. Another character design that was quite different was Azog. Just like Smaug, he seems much scary and intimidating, and as you can see, Del Toro wanted these movies to use practical effects more often than CGI, like they did with The Lord of the Rings. This includes orc armor and the use of advanced animatronics. Speaking of orcs, the Battle of the Five Armies was actually originally supposed to be more faithful to the book. At least this is what was planned even up to what they had already started shooting, and that's when everything went wrong. But we'll get to that in a moment. Guillermo was hoping to make these two films, yes it was originally supposed to be two films at the time, with a certain color code that would help indicate the passage of seasons. So he would have had certain colors and tone for winter, certain ones for spring, certain ones for summer, and certain ones for, of course, autumn. And each film would feature the entire story, but in different points of view. But going back to my last point, everything started to fall apart when Del Toro decided to leave production altogether. It was never made clear why, but one can guess because he had many disagreements and creative differences with Peter Jackson, and because Warner Brothers was taking a long time to greenlight it. It doesn't get harder than, than that. I mean, it's the hardest decision I've ever taken. I have incredible heartache. I feel uh, terrible about it. Because I was hanging by a thread of my arm for so long that at the end of the day, you had to cut it off. So now it was all left up to Jackson and his wife, Fran Walsh. They decided to start from the ground up because Peter envisioned Middle Earth in a very different way, and he thought that Del Toro's version could only be told by, well, Del Toro. So that left them with only a few months to prep and then they began shooting. Now, whether or not you like these movies, you can't really blame them, as they didn't have a plan, and Jackson himself admits that I didn't know what the hell I was doing. He even said that he had to come up with a lot of it on the spot, and throughout production, he looked really quite depressed. I mean, he had to do 21 hour shoots with only three hours of sleep. So knowing all this, I feel kind of empathetic towards him. How do you guys feel? Do you think these movies would have been better with more prep? Would you have liked to see Del Toro's version, and how that would have turned out? Let me know in the comments down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe and like the beacons for more Middle Earth related content, and until our next meeting, I bid you farewell.